and they can grow 60 to 80 feet tall. Wow. 80? Uh-huh. And they're so tasty. <laughs> it's an amazing place. Yeah. yeah. Now we were just right down there. Oh. When we were below there. Wow. Wow. We were by the wind, we were yeah. right down there. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh. Uh -huh. 저기 있었어 우리가 우리가 저기 밑에 네, 밑에가 테크노스피어라 그랬잖아요. 맞아요. You see all the variety of plants in this desert? Right. And this is a typical fog desert. Is this cactus or Yes, and succulents. Ah, succulents. Ah, okay. Cactus. Lots of cactus in here. Yeah. California paha. The difference between a fog desert and our Sonoran desert is how the plants get their moisture yeah mm. in the sonoran desert we get the monsoon mm -hmm. right and we get when we get winter rains too <gasps> hopefully sometimes <laughs> not always yeah not always. but in a fog desert they don't get rain and uh most of the time they don't get it at all uh. even in the summertime even in the winter time it's mostly fog banks that roll in as hot meets cold then the the ocean air forms clouds that form fog. Ah. And the plants will open up their pores and absorb that fog. And that's how they survive. But in some places, there, it hasn't rained for decades. So that fog made the, the moisture for the plants. Right? That's yeah. what it is, it's the fog. And so this was designed like that, as a fog desert, uh, because of the humidity that you get with fog. Okay, in the Sonoran Desert, the humidity we have right now, that's not typical for most of the year. Mm -hmm. It's just during monsoon. The rest of the year is very dry, like I said. Sometimes eight. single digit yeah, eight yeah, or humidity. Nine percent. Right. Yeah. And but in here, these plants had to be able to survive because the whole building is really moist and yeah. humid. And so they designed this to be like you would find off of the uh, Baja California. The Atacama Desert along the coast of uh, Peru and, and Chile, that's also a fog desert. There's one um, along the west coast of Australia, but they're pretty rare. But they do have beautiful plants mm -hmm. and lots of them. And one of the typical plants that you'll find in a fog desert is the big tall uh, cactus over there that looks like our saguaro. <laughs> yeah, saguaro. That is not a saguaro. Oh, really? That is a cardon. Cardon? I didn't cardone. know that. What is that? Uh -huh. I don't the cardon is the big brother to the saguaro. Ah, oh, big brother. Much bigger. Oh. How tall this is this? This one's just a baby. <laughs> it's a baby. <laughs> they can grow to be nine feet in diameter, uh -huh. and they can grow 60 to 80 feet tall. Wow. 80? Uh-huh. But typically, they grow off of Baja California. Huge forests of them, and they're massive, massive, huge cactus. Uh -huh. And they can hold thousands and thousands of gallons of water that they collect from fog. Wow. Because it almost never rains. Very rarely, once in a while. Yeah. And, uh, you, if you look at a saguaro and you look at the spines on this, uh -huh. the saguaro is, uh, they're closer together and it sticks out more. These are more pronounced and they go in and they're further apart. Aww. But we have uh, saguaro cactus scientists from the university who come here and they love to see our... <laughs> and eventually it will grow arms and it will, it'll get really much bigger. And it's really special. We're really happy to have it here. But we don't typically grow them in our area because they can't handle frost. Ah. And down in south of Mexico, they don't get frost. But in Tucson, we do every year. We get a little bit every year. Mm -hmm. So they could easily die if it got too cold to them. Ah. Saguaro can take it. They can handle the cold. Yeah. But the Cardone can. Cardone can. can. Yeah. But here. this is Baja Desert. Yes. Yeah. So we keep it nice in here, warm for them all the time. Yeah, right. And we rain from up above. Mm -hmm. um, when the people were sealed in here for the first year, they used a fog machine. Uh. And so these plants. And they just let this area go wild. They didn't have to take care of it or do much with it. Oh. They let it grow because the cactus, when it's very, very hot, uh -huh. a cactus closes its pores uh -huh. because they're trying to conserve their moisture. Yeah. And then at night, they release their oxygen and moisture, and that balances the rainforest plants who do that in the daytime, mm. okay? They close up at night and, uh, and produce oxygen in the day. So this was a nice balance in the building when it was sealed, that uh, you were getting oxygen here and you were getting oxygen there, and the plants were both helping each other. <sighs> this is another really special tree right here. Oh. This is called a bujam. Bujam? Bujam. Bujums grow down in Baja also. They don't typically grow in our Sonoran Desert. It's a relative of the Ocotillo. 
And here's an alcatel right here. Uh, you can uh, see how they have similar thorns yeah. and similar. This one doesn't have any leaves on it except a few up at the top. Yeah. Uh. So this is really special, these alcatels and these bougie. Mm -hmm. If we let them go dry, uh -huh. they lose their leaves. Uh -huh. If we rain on them from up above, they put their leaves out. Whoa, and they can do that. that three or four times a year. Uh -huh. So this is a nurse tree. Uh -huh. Whoa. And these nurse trees are really important to, especially saguaros. Uh -huh. uh, when a very small saguaro grows up, and it could be about 10 years old and just be very small. Mine's about 10 years old and it's about this big. But they can't really handle the hot sun. Uh -huh. mm. And if they get it too hot, they'll die. So they usually will grow underneath a nurse tree. Uh -huh. And that protects it with the shade from the leaves of the tree uh -huh. and from the way the sun's moving. But the saguaro will take all the nutrients from the nurse tree mm -hmm. and eventually the nurse tree will die. Uh -huh. And the saguaro will get uh -huh. really big. Now we're growing a lot of things that you would gr grow in our rainforest here, Whoa, but we've got lots of papaya, papaya. Oh, yeah. avocado, avocado, citrus. We've got some, uh, I think they're lemon. I think ah, they're lemon. Yeah, it's lemon. All lime. Lemon. You got a cup too. And um, coffee. Coffee bean. Right here, coffee plants. Mm -hmm. 여기 커피 나무죠. 커피 나무네요. Robust coffee. It's avocado. Avocado 나무. 와, 나 이거 처음 봤어. Avocado 나무. 되게 약간 부실하네. 그러게. This is a felt plant. Uh huh. It's very soft and furry. Oh. Can I touch this? Oh yeah. Oh. oh. It feels like felt. Oh, yeah. Oh. 진짜 펠트 같아. It felt oh. like felt. 어. 펠트 같아. 어. This is this is the uh, kind of agave that you would make uh, tequila out of. <laughs> For tequila? Boga boga. Yeah. Then we steal this. Uh -huh. <laughs> agave. Yeah. This is our mangrove marsh. Oh, 여기가 mangrove, mangrove입니다. Mangrove. Mangrove. So the mangroves were brought in from Florida Everglades. Uh huh when the project first began. So more than 30 years they've been here now. They love it here. Uh -huh. They're very, very happy. We've got red, white, and black mangroves. Uh -huh. And you can see they're very thick and lush. They just do really, really well. They're filtering salt out of the water. Yeah. But you can tell a mangrove's doing its job when you see the dead leaves because they're called sometimes the kidneys of the ocean. Uh -huh. They filter impurities out of the water. We don't have impurities in Biosphere 2, but we have salt. Yeah, right. And so the salt will come up into the leaf. The leaf falls off and the plant will replace it with a new one. Uh -huh. And uh, they're protected species now in most places in the United States. Uh -huh. But back when we got these, they weren't. Mm. But they've learned now that if you don't have mangrove marshes, you're gonna have bad hurricanes. Jason, I'm hosting a film crew from South Korea. Hi. Hi, Jason. Hi, Jason <laughs> is our guy who takes care of all of our plants. Oh, really? So Can he's, you handle it? He is the responsible. <laughs> Sometimes, no. <laughs> if there's anything you want to ask him, he knows about plants. Oh. Jason also works with our rainforest scientists, too. Uh -huh. oh. And so he spends a lot of time in there. Yeah. How many years? Well, I've been doing this job for four. Four years? I've been for eight. Wow, eight years. And now this is the ocean from up above. Ah, oh. 여기가 바로 이제 오션이 앞에 oh. 있네요. 이게 너무 어. 자, 좁은 공 안에 여러 개가 있다 보니까 그러니까 너무 이, 신기해 그냥. 어, 그거 나, 나 뇌가 폭발할 것 같아. 어. <웃음> 너무, 너무 많은 정보가 들어왔어. Have you ever seen a frankincense plant? No. No. This was donated and given to us by a Sultan of Oman. Oman. Sultan. Sultan. Wow. <laughs> so we have this one and we have another one over there. Oh. And uh, his, uh, his he gave a donation to us. His son attended the University of Arizona and he wanted to give us something. And this oh, is a very special plant. Yeah. And you know that the oil is, is very, very, very precious. Oh, really? It's very expensive. So if you look it up on the internet, uh, the oil of uh, frankincense costs the same per ounce as gold. So, so you mean, is this drink cover? No, it's aromatic ah. and healing properties. Aromatic oil. So, and it's Oils. very expensive, right? Very expensive. Ah. 
and there's a waterfall, right? Yeah, that's from coming from the rainforest. Ah, ah rainforest. Wow. <laughs> 여기 진짜 작은 지구야. 어, 많은 걸 구현했네. 어. 정말 많은 걸. So now we are laying on the forest again. Now we're up above when we were down below. Wow. And you see the waterfall? Yeah, ah, over there. Up at the top up yeah. there, we have a pond. Uh -huh. It's called Tiger Pond, and we have oh. koi fish in there. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> And uh, the water comes down and it's sort of recycled and it flows down through here and it comes down into the pond. Then, then how can we go up there? I've never been up there, we're not going up there. Uh, okay. <laughs> how tall is here? Uh, seven, uh, 75 feet. 75 feet. And the soil here is 16 feet deep. Oh. And so we can do experiments with the roots of plants. Uh -huh. uh, uh, they dug a deep pit. 16 feet deep? You yes. mean so it is? That's the deepest part. Oh, uh, uh, deepest uh -huh. part. That, then it's total almost 90 feet. Yes, about 95. 95. Uh -huh. And the top of a rainforest in the Amazon would be 130 feet. Uh -huh. So these trees, you can see, they grow all the way to the top. Uh -huh. Jason has to go up there <laughs> and they have to cut them back. Poor Jason. So they don't go through the glass. <laughs> he has several people who go with him. Oh my God. Oh, uh, banana trees. So I want you to look at the bananas. Can you see them? Come over where I am. On this side, banana. see the bananas? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. so many. So many. So many green. Oh, wow. wow. And they're so tasty. <laughs> they're really, really good. Oh. Really good. Oh. Should be. Should be. Yeah. We have three varieties. We have the small ones like that. We have the bigger ones, but we also have plantains. Ah, in here. I'm going to take you to my favorite place. Oh, thank you. That nobody ever gets to go to. Oh, unless you got, yeah, unless you have a, a guide. 여기도 자 VIP 투어입니다. Now Jason, he's crazy. He's on these. I don't do those. <웃음> 와, 엄청난 계단이. 제이슨이 자주 애용하는 <웃음> 엄청난 계단. 오. 오. I call this the Madagascar biome. Because most of these plants come from Madagascar. Madagascar. Oh. So this is a Madagascar ocotil. Oh. And you'll see, look oh. at the, oh, look at the root system. <웃음> Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's so beautiful. It looks like an artificial one. It does. Yeah. And these are air plants. Air plants? They don't have any roots uh -huh. and they just grow in the air. Oh. They're getting everything they need from the air uh -huh. and they're all, none of them are attached. Wow. They're just an air plant. See here? Yeah. This yeah. one fell. <laughs> Whoa. And look how healthy it is. It's yeah. getting ready to bloom. Oh yeah, right. Uh. New one. So they just live all over this tree right here. I think this is a Whoa. little hidden corner. Yeah, right. Of Biosphere exactly. 2 that nobody knows about. Oh. The only expert knows. Nobody here. comes in yeah, here. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we are the first South Korean, right? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, we really appreciate it. <laughs> a lot of fun. We really yeah. appreciate your amazing guide. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's an amazing place. Yeah. yeah. But it has amazing guide. Yeah. <laughs> Captain. Yeah. Captain Denise, right? Yeah. Captain yeah. Denise. Oh. Captain Denise in Biosphere 2. <laughs> Thank you so much. You we are really, welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome anytime. Yeah. <laughs> 여기는 일반인들한테도 공개가 돼 있으니까요. 물론 이제 저희가 들어간 곳은 VIP만 들어갈 수 있는 혹은 스텝만 들어갈 수 있는 곳들도 있습니다. 그렇지만 일반인들에게 대부분의 공간들이 공간되어 있으니 어, 공개되어 있으니까요. 한국인 분들도 언제든 애리조나에 방문하시게 되면 여기 바이오스피어 2꼭 오셔서 과학이 어떤 것인지 우리 지구가 어떻게 움직이는지 그런 것들을 좀 느끼고 가셨으면 좋겠습니다. 아 예. I introduced, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh -huh. Krinka. We really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Oh. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Comments for Korean. Yeah, South audience. Korean people. Yeah. 
Yeah. Do you have any comments? Welcome. Please <laughs> come see us anytime. We yeah. Love to have you. Okay. Let's go, Basque too. <laughs> Thanks so much. Beautiful Arizona. Yeah. 드디어 저희가 꿈에 그리던 바이오스피어 2에 와서 모든 투어를 마쳤습니다. 야, 진짜. 박수 한번 주시죠. 저는 이런 이런 연구소를 연구 센터를 본 적이 없어요. 맞아요. 그러니까요. 진짜. 이게 연구 센터라는 게 믿기지도 않아요. 네. 어, 정말. 그 지구였어요. 네. 네. 그리고 뭐 그냥 이걸 봤으면은 그냥 음. 뭐 여기 왜 이렇게 더워? 여기 왜 이렇게 습해? 이러고 넘어갔을 텐데. 그렇죠. 너무 상세히 설명을 해주셔가지고. 네. 정말 의미 있는 시간이었습니다. 맞습니다. 아, 근데 정말 많은 예산이 들어갔잖아요. 음. 그렇죠. 저는 정말 이런 많은 예산이 들어가는 사실 어떻게 보면 작은 지구 만드는 게 음. 의미가 없잖아. 이상한 행동이잖아요. 음. 그 당시 그렇게 많이 어. 생각했죠. 음. 근데 네. 그 돈을 쓰고 음. 어쨌거나 반대를 설득하고 음. 그 다음에 결국 해내고 음. 남아있는 연구시설을 또 이런 관광이나 연구 목적으로 계속 쓴다. 음. 그렇죠. 이거는 저는 우리나라가 배워야 될 부분이 아닌가. 네. 그리고 실제로 네. 지금 이제 이 바이오스피어 2가 어떻게 보면은 지구를 모사한 환경을 만든 거잖아요. 네. 전 세계에서 여기밖에 없어요. 이 정도 규모에. 그러니까요. 네. 그래서 지금 많이 하고 있는 게 이제 기후 변화. 네. 현재 지금 가장 그 우리가 심각하게 다루고 있는 주제가 바로 기후 변화잖아요. 그렇죠. 그래서 여기서도 기후 변화가 실제로 일어났을 때 어떤 일이 일어나는지를 네. CO2 가스를 늘리든가 줄이든가를 해서 상태 변화를 확인한다고 하더라고요. 네. 네 그리고 지금 바이오스피어 2에서는 어, 실제로 어, 연구를 하시는 분들과 함께 연구를 하고자 하는 의지가 많이 강하니까요. 네. 언제든 홈페이지에 어, 연구하시는 분들이 직접 어, 연구 어떤 프로포즈 같은 거를 어, 제출을 하셔서 여기 오셔서 직접 연구하실 수 있으니까요. 어. 언제든 참고하시고 홈페이지 꼭 확인하시기 바랍니다. 예. 어, 너무너무 음. 신기한 경험이었습니다. 그러니까요. 네. 정말 신기한 경험. 발걸음에 따라서 새로운 세상. 어. 완전 다른 나라. 단몇 걸음으로 완전히 새로운 세상이에요. 전 세계를 돌았어요, 우리가. 전 세계를 돌았어요. 음. 이게 오프라인 메타버스입니다. 음. 정말 저희도 네. 과학 커뮤니케이터로서 음. 어, 이번에 설명의 선생님 어, 드니스 예, 네. 드니스 선생님을 본받아서 네. 더 열심히 해야 되겠다 아 네. 그렇습니다 어, 이 정도 해야 되나한 번도 문장 하나를 절질 않아 맞아요 와, 많이 안 좋으시더라고 네. 반성 많이 했어요 말씀 반성 하시든지. 많이 했고 예. 네. 앞으로 더 열심히 하도록 하겠습니다 오늘 네 번째 일정이죠 네, 네. 바이오스피어 이것으로 마치겠습니다 지금까지. 안녕 안될까요였습니다 이거 그거 아니에요? 그거 우리 그 <웃음> 최민 선생님 어. 최민 선생님 하얀 두 마리다 안녕. <웃음> 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 <웃음>